Hello, today I've got another project. We've got a mini moto, electrical motor for kids. And uh, I just got it in a broken condition and I will need to repair it. I don't know how it works. I know that it has a battery, it has some parts here. So I need to put it all together. And uh, how do we do that? First of all, we have to check all connections and cables and not uh, connect the battery directly to the motor now because we don't know what's happening with it. In case there's a shortcut, you can burn the cables. So what we'll do now, we'll just try to disassemble some plastic parts, see whether the electrical motor is working, whether there's no shortcuts in the cables, and I'll show you how to check if the cables are okay using a multimeter. So let's start. So now I took out my multimeter, I put it on a direct current voltage and um, I see that the battery is a 6 volt battery but my multimeter shows 4 volts so probably the battery is, battery is discharged. I also have a lot of cables here, disconnected cables, some circuits, relays probably and uh, really bad connectors which are not even insulated and I see also a cable going to the electrical motor here so what I'm gonna do first is check if the electrical motor works if it doesn't work there's no uh, sense in uh, repairing it so we'll check the electrical motor first to do that we'll check the resistance if we have resistance between the two contacts means that the electricity would go through the electrical motor and then we'll try to although the battery has a little charge we'll still try to connect it to the battery to see if the electrical motor works so now I'm checking the resistance of the electrical motor we have a cable that comes from the electrical motor I just connected the plug connected these two wires to two contacts and uh, we see that some resistance is being shown on the millimeter and put it on the millimeter indicator if there were no resistance you would get this value this value so when I connect it to the plug we get a value so there's chances that the electrical motor will work now let's try to connect it to the battery as I still don't have a charger for this uh, bike battery, I had a LiPo battery here and um, it's 7.5 volts and this electrical motor is manufactured for 6 volts and but 1 volt shouldn't be doing anything so we'll try to connect this battery now to the electrical motor to check if it's working. So I connected it and I'm trying it now. And as you can see it's working, the electrical motor is working. What I need to do now is to just connect directly the switch on the handle, this one, to the electrical motor. So that by pushing the button you just start the electrical motor. And I think with this solution I will be done because I won't be able to know what the circuit is about. So I'll just do an easy solution, just connect the button to the electrical motor and the battery and it should work. Let's see how it goes. So now after some time I disassembled the bike. I needed to see which cables went where. So now I see on the handle there's a bunch of cables going inside. Then I see these cables that go to some kind of a circuit. And I see that there's a cable going to the lights. And more cables going to the lights. and. Uh, I see that there is another cable that goes through this case and goes here which controls the electrical motor. Now I disassembled the handle with two buttons and I thought there was some kind of a complex mechanism side but no I just see the button with two cables and another button with two cables coming out. So. It should be a simple mechanism. One button should be to go forward and one button to move backwards. But I think somebody did something with the cables here, so I'll just need to 
redirect the cables in its original way and see if it will work. So I think this circuit will actually control whether the bike goes forward or backwards. After analyzing the cables, the cables and connectors a little bit more, now I understand that this connector goes to some kind of a sound and light circuits and then these two buttons go to this cable and connector which then will go here so we're good the only problem I have is this cable which is disconnected I need to understand where it should go to so now I have a uh, problem with one cable here I connected uh, the battery tried to push the buttons nothing worked so I need to understand uh, how to bring voltage to this part to these buttons I need to understand what these connections here are so I'll open this insulation tape and see how cables are connected among each other for now I won't try to fix this part which probably will have sound and light I'll just try to make sure my electrical motor starts working so I'll try to now see what these cables are doing how they're interconnected let's see so I checked all the connectors now and I see that some cables are burned and uh, I see also that something is wrong with this part so my only solution would be to just make this bike go forward and go backwards so I'll try to bring these buttons to life so I need to understand now this bundle of cables so uh, now my last hope would be related to this circuit this thing resembles very much to a relay so this should be responsible for switching forward and backward movement and what I'm gonna do is switch my multi multimeter into a current setting 10 amperes the maximum in just in case not to burn my multimeter plug this red cable into 10 ampere plug as well and try to connect uh, some co relay contacts with each other we know that if these buttons activate the relay so when one cable comes from this contact into the switch and goes back it should activate the relay by pushing the button so two cables should get into contact to make the relay work and the current from the battery should go directly to the electrical motor so let's try to do that So these two contacts worked and now the electrical motor is working and you see this current on the multimeter showing. But unfortunately I don't find the reverse mo movement so I only found these two contacts that make the electrical motor move. Now knowing that I have two contacts that activate the relay, I look at the colors of the cable and they are blue and red. So this cable goes. So this cable goes from here, here, comes out here. I'm looking at blue and red color cables. And then I need to make sure that with one button I connect these two cables together. So I know that I have here one button and I look at the colors coming out from this button and they are blue and pink so I take them out here blue and pink and move them here and connect them with the corresponding blue and red cables here so after connecting them I try this button I push the button 
and you see that the electrical motor works so at least we can have a forward movement now now the second thing would be to make this button work to move the bike backwards after looking at this circuit now I think that there's no way to switch the polarity of the battery on this circuit there's a uh, one cable coming from battery connects directly to the cable that goes to the electrical motor and there's nothing between these two contacts to switch the polarity so my conclusion would be that this circuit will not help me to switch the polarity but it helps me to start moving this bike to its forward so you can hear the click sound so for now I will just make this bike move forward and then as a solution I would add a mechanical switch that would switch the polarity somewhere on the on the side of the bike I would just put a mechanical switch with the help of which you will be able to switch the polarity and uh, let the bike go backwards so the solution to reverse power will be this one the speed controller which has two functions it will allow me to reverse the power with the switch and at the same time it will allow me to control the speed of the electrical motor with this switch check this out Now we start assembling everything back, so I'll be putting these parts together, putting the electrical motor, and then I'll have to put this handle, which will activate this button, so when you push this handle this way, it will activate the electrical motor. And then I will be putting back all small accessories, and will be done for today. Okay, the bike is back, assembled, and uh, we are ready to just connect this switch with the cable that goes to the relay. We need to make sure that the cable is not too tight so that we can turn the bike. And we have motor installed cables in here and we have the compartment for the battery with all the connections ready for testing
soldered the wires. Uh, we put some silicone here to keep this switch in its place because it all was a bit damaged. And now we'll check if the motor works. So I connected the battery here and uh, we need to push this button to see if if the wheel will start turning so I'm pushing this button and we can hear the sound uh, interesting thing is that I replaced the factory battery because it was not charged with the LiPo battery that I had for my RC cars which is which has higher voltage is 7.4 voltage and this one is 6 voltage and it works so now as you can see i put this handle on a bar the logic of this handle would be that when you move it it will activate the electrical motor so now i have only this handle which controls the connection with the battery the best scenario would be to have an extra switch which i have ordered and i'm waiting for it to arrive when it arrives i'll install a switch i think i will put it somewhere here that's one of the perfect spaces where i can put it and here we go.